All right, let's go for question number three. It's from Ray Optics and here it is. A lens convex of focal length 30 centimeter. By the way, all the distances are in centimeter. And a convex mirror of focal length 50 cm. But the convex mirror is not a regular one. It has been tilted by 30 degree. And this is its principal axis you could see. This has been taken as the orison, the optical center of the convex lens. And on the basis of this, we need to find the coordinate of the image with respect to this orison. First of all, let's talk of the convex lens. For the lens, 1 by V is 1 by F plus 1 by U. And I get 1 by 30 minus of 1 by 50. So let's see how much will that be. That's 150 and 5 minus 3. So I'll be getting V as 75 centimeter. So had the convex mirror not been there, the image would have formed somewhere here, 25 centimeter. But now, as regard to this mirror, this object would not be a point object because the principal axis is here. So I'll drop perpendicular and you would see the object distance is this much, which is 25 root 3 by 2 and 25 by 2 would be the object height because the principal axis is here and the object lies here. So this is the object distance, this is the object height. Now every distance for the convex mirror would be made with respect to this axis. So let's talk for the mirror now. For the mirror, 1 by V is 1 by F minus 1 by U. That's 1 by 50. And U is 1 by 25 root 3 upon 2. So that 2 would come here. Now, let's see. This is going to be 50 root 3. And that would be root 3 minus a 4. So I get V as, just look at this number is negative, minus of 50 root 3 by 4 minus root 3. This is the location of the image. So somewhere here, that's a distance. So what I'll do is that I'll be writing the name, this as P and let's say this as M and you get this particular distance is PM. But the image would not be here because for the convex mirror, it's not a point image. You see, the object is point, then the image would be point. But in our case, the object has a certain height, the extended height. So therefore, there would be a certain height. And here comes the image of this particular object. So I just need to calculate the value of IM. So very straight way look, I am height of image by height of object which is 25 by 2 would be, I'm just writing the magnitude, V which is 50 root 3 by 4 minus root 3 upon U and that U is 25 root 3 by 2. That's how it goes. So here this 2 or this 25 by 2 would come here. So particularly this whole thing would be cancelling here. This would also cancel. So that's 50 by 4 minus of root 3. I got and I am, I can write, is 50 by 4 minus root 3. Now we need to assign the coordinate for this image. The coordinate position has already been found. What I'll do is, if you see this particular point, let's try to calculate this angle. This is already given, which is 30 degree. This tan theta would be IM divided by MP. So if I just divide this as tan theta, that would be IM, which is 50 by 4 minus root 3 by MP or PM. It's the same thing. So that will be. 50 root 3 by 4 minus root 3 and you get theta as 
30 degree. So this is 30 degree. Now, after we calculated all these things, let's try to assign the coordinate. And to assign the coordinate, now it's not so difficult. The idea is very simple. Let's try to see the x coordinate with respect to this point. If I drop perpendicular C, that length is going to be pi cos 60. So the x coordinate would be 50 minus pi cos 60. Because this is pi, this would be pi cos 60. So 50 minus of pi cos 60, as simple as that. And similarly, if I go for y coordinate, the y coordinate would be pi sine of 60. That would be the situation. Now here, what you get is see, with this particular value, like you could easily put it here, x is 50 minus, you see the value of pi is this and that would be 50 root 3 by 4 minus root 3 into cos 60 that is 1 by 2 and similarly when you go for pi sine 60 that is pi which is 50 root 3 by 4 minus root 3 sine 60, that's root 3 by 2. In fact, according to our calculation and the options available, our calculations do not match with the given options and these are calculated to the best of our knowledge. However, the given calculation is closest to option number D. So in the given case, the options are not matching, but we can say it is closest to option D. That is about question number 3. Let's proceed to question number 4.